Buying a home is one of the most expensive purchases you'll make in your lifetime, but how much exactly does it cost? In this video, I'll provide a simple process to follow so you can understand exactly how much it costs. Let's get into it. What's up, Alex at Mortgage Chain, and on this channel we provide the best tools and tips to first time buyers. If we're meeting for the first time, please consider subscribing. Let's jump into the video. So congratulations, you've just had an offer accepted on a property, and now you need to submit the mortgage application. So what are the costs? So when you submit your mortgage application, you may have an application fee or a survey fee. Dependent on the type of survey you go for, which there are three different types, will determine how much the fee is. A lot of lenders do provide a free basic survey, so if you're going for a basic survey you may find that the mortgage application does not bear any costs at this stage. So once you've had an offer accepted you need to instruct a solicitor. Now normally your solicitor will ask for around three or four hundred pounds up front. This is so they can get going with your searches. Property searches can take up to around eight weeks to come back, so it's important to get going with those fairly quickly. You'll find that most lenders will have an arrangement or booking fee that needs paying. You can choose to either add that to the loan or pay it up front. If you add it to the loan, it does accrue interest. A typical booking or arrangement fee is normally around 999. Personally, what I would suggest is add the fee to the loan and then pay it once you've moved in as an overpayment. Because if you pay it during the application and the application doesn't go through, you may not get that fee refunded. If you're using a mortgage broker for the transaction, you may find the fee is between 499 to 999. If your case is more complicated or if you've got adverse credit, that could increase to 14 or 1999. Let's go with around 750 for now. When you get towards exchanging contracts, you're gonna need to supply your deposit. This will normally be a minimum of 5%. Then you have the remaining solicitor costs. Overall, a solicitor will cost you around 1,500 pounds, but this can vary dependent on the purchase price of the property, whether it's a leasehold or shared ownership. Sometimes leasehold and shared ownership does come with extra fees because there's extra work required and extra parties involved. So let's say around 1,500 for now. So when it comes to moving, you may need removals. These are gonna cost you around 1,200 pounds. Again, prices vary dependent on the size of your property. Let's go with around 1,200. And finally, if you're purchasing a property which has stamp duty tax, you're gonna to need to pay that towards completion as well to your solicitor. I have created a document for you that you can download, which goes through all the individual costs and totals it up for you, as well as supplying a stamp duty calculator. So you can work out exactly to the penny how much your transaction will cost. Today's question, are you thinking of moving and wondering what the costs are? Let me know in the comments. Please note, we do need to let you know that your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up repayments on your mortgage. So thanks for checking out today's video. Please do check out the show notes for a recap on today's content and subscribe or ring the bell if you hadn't done so already. Till next time, Mortgage Chain are bringing you the best tools and tips to first time buyers. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.